Chickenpox is infectious disease which is caused by varicella zoster virus and chickenpox has one of the highest infectivity among viruses. It means if person will have contact with the virus, it has almost 94% chance to get disease. It's highest infectivity. Um, Chickenpox is characterized rash. Rash starts with face, it spreads to trunk and eventually it affects limbs. Rash typically is blisters but it can be purples and it can be ulcers also. Let's start how symptoms start and how disease course develops. First, first day and first several days, for example, for two or five, from two to five days, person can have only fever, malaise and headache. Malaise is sense when person uh, does not feel well, generally. After this rush occurs, so from second day on, from third day on, from Five, fifth day rush occurs and the rush typically lasts for several days seven to ten days it can last more or it can last uh, less uh, typically uh, rush type is blisters these blisters eventually dries and scabs and um, crust develops as I said, it can be ulcers also, it can be blisters and papules. How disease spreads? Disease spreads, contacts with respiratory system, uh, droplets, uh, for example, during cough, sneezing, also contact with secretions, secrets from uh, blisters. What's incubation period of this disease? Incubation period is 10 to 21 days. Incubation period means uh, when person first touch this virus and time from first contact to first symptoms. So if person have contact um, chicken, with chicken fox virus on uh, infected person, it can, it can pass 10 days or uh, 2 weeks or 21 days and after this person gets symptoms. Uh, this is course usually mild. It uh, lasts around 2 weeks, sometimes 3 weeks. But some cases severe infection can occur, especially in patients with infants, pregnant and immunocompromised patients. Uh, most common and most important complications are pneumonia, encephalitis and skin infections. Skin infections is secondary of course yeah, after blisters. Uh, but these complications is not common and it's rare. Uh, very rarely chickenpox can be deadly. Now what is treatment? We have no uh, direct cure, uh, but symptoms are managed by acetaminophen, ibuprofen, uh, calamine lotion is common, used on skin locally. It's uh, zinc oxide and uh, benefit is it dries the skin and uh, it fastens the recovery process. Sometimes, especially in immunocompromised patients, acyclovir is used, it's antiviral drug. Uh, rest and hydration is needed, of course, and vaccination. Vaccination is best method of prevention. Vaccination decreased chickenpox uh, cases uh, in USA by 90%. It's huge improvement. And uh, vaccination uh, is um, uh, most common among children around 15 months. 
is first dose and second dose is three to four months and effectivity efficiency of first dose is 80 percent it's already huge you would have a huge efficiency and second dose is 90 percent and how long this immunity lasts uh, it lasts four years some cases it lasts even a lifetime especially if person already uh, already was infected by uh, white cell zoster uh, lifelong immunity develops in many cases but of course it's it's possible that person after some year, uh, years still get this infection but it's very rare uh, of course a vaccine also uh, protects many cases lifelong also and uh, here is interesting fact you should know uh, you know herpes zoster and shingles it's also a type of rash uh, which is painful and which is uh, develops on some time in people and it's same virus uh, varicella zoster also and varicella zoster uh, stays in the body after chickenpox and if person has weakened immune system or such uh, such cases it can be reactivated and it can cause herpes zoster it's not chickenpox but it also has rash and uh, local pain thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now